hi guys so welcome back on today's video i will share with you guys various baby food recipes using the redmond hand blender to make baby food i like having a particular blender that is set out just for the baby food or for that purpose i don't like using the regular blender i use in the house because of fear of pepper and stuff like that so i'm going to use this redmond hand blender this came in color green and this is the model jhb218 in this box we have the hand blender and the various accessories that came with the blender so over here is just the first part which is the main hand blender here is the blender stick okay you can use this for smoothies or for vegetables or purees here is the whisk you can use this for your egg white or for your cake butter or even pancake butter then here is the froter okay you can use this to fruit your milk and over here is the first jar and this jar has a maximum capacity of 800 ml you can use this for your smoothie or tomatoes or other beef food or puree then here is the whisk holder okay you attach this to the hand blender before you fix the accessories the last thing in this box is this chopper okay this also has a maximum capacity of 800 mils and you can use this particular one for chopping meat or garlic fruits and vegetables this is the blade this blade is very very sharp you just have to be very careful now i'm going to go ahead and just plug this hand blender into a power outlet and just show you guys the various settings and how you can attach all the accessories This here is the speed control dial. You can use this to either increase or decrease the speed. Now I'm going to attach the emulsion blender. This is the main blender stick. You can use this one for smoothies or for purees. To make use of the whisk and the milk filter, you have to attach this one here, which is the whisk holder. When you attach it, you then fix the whisk and then the milk filter. I also like that the sound that this blender produces is not too irritating to the ear. To use the chopper bowl, you just have to attach the hand blender to the lid of the chopper and that's how you make use of this chopper. Look at how beautiful it is looking. Before I proceed to make baby food with this blender, I need to wash it in warm soapy water because that's what you do when you buy a new equipment. And it is also dishwasher friendly so feel free to use a dishwasher. The first baby recipe I will make using this blender is this sweet potato puree. This is sweet potato already peeled and boiled. So for this I'm going to use this main stick immersion blender. I added some water and let's just see if this blender will do justice to this puree. The quantity of water should depend on the consistency you want the, the puree to be. now this is our puree this is just this just took about 30 seconds and look at how perfect it is no lumps at all just very smooth i also like the fact that you can use any other jar or bowl you have in your house with this blender it depends like if you're making a bigger quantity you can just use your own bowl and it will contain more of what you are doing unlike the jar that is just 800 mils 
here i decided to puree this sweet potato without adding water at all just to see if it will still do justice to it and as you can see it is very very perfect so you can make thicker consistency for older babies and if the baby is much younger you can add fluid To introduce some proteins to baby diets, I like chopping up some meat, some fishes and eggs as well. So here I have this smoked sliced turkey and I just used this blender to just chop it up and it did justice to it. So this particular one here can be used to chop your chicken, goat meat, beef, fish to use for meat pies, fish pies and all other recipes that call for chopped meat this right here can be mixed with baby cereal it can be mixed with fruit you can just add maybe a teaspoon or a tablespoon of it to your baby cereal mix it and your baby will enjoy it you can also add it mix it with fruit and your baby will also enjoy it so the last thing i'm going to prepare with this blender is this onions and bell peppers i would say that this works like a food processor because you don't need to add water to blend your vegetables and your meat okay so this one here i just used it to chop up this onion and this bell pepper and look at the end result so smooth so so smooth so that means you can also use this for your tomatoes garlic and stuff like that I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you're interested in getting this blender you can check my description box for the link to this blender and if you use that link you will get a 10% discount for this blender thank you so much guys for watching this video and i hope you try out all those baby foods and share it with your friends that have babies Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Until then, stay safe.